In this video, what I'd like to do is take a look at a velocity versus time graph in which our initial velocity is negative. Now in this case, this point right here is represented by the point zero seconds. Notice over the first five seconds, the velocity is going from negative five meters per second to zero meters per second. So notice that during this first five second interval of time, the velocity of this object is not only changing, but the velocity is decreasing, or the object is going to be slowing down. And then what happens is the velocity starts to increase from five seconds to 10 seconds. The velocity is going to go from zero meters per second to five meters per second. So, so over this interval of time, from five seconds to 10 seconds, the velocity of the object is actually going to increase. And we can pick out some points here. So I'm going to pick out this point right here, and that point's going to correspond to time t equals 10 seconds in a velocity of positive five meters per second. Now I can calculate the acceleration of this graph using any two points along this line. So in a previous video I included this point. Now in this video what I'd like to do is show you an alternative way and that's just using two endpoints. So to calculate the acceleration of this object I'm just going to rely on my definition of acceleration that says acceleration is a change in velocity per change in time. In this case this is going to be final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the time it takes to change this velocity. Now in this case, I'm going to use a final velocity of positive five meters per second. And then I'm going to use an initial velocity of negative five meters per second. So it's going to be final velocity, which is five meters per second, minus an initial velocity of negative five meters per second, divided by the time it takes to go from negative five meters per second to five meters per second, which corresponds to a time interval of, in this case, 10 seconds. Now, one of the big mistakes student often make is encountering this point right here. A negative times a negative is going to be a positive. So what this is going to work out to be is plus five meters per second minus a negative five, which works out to be five meters per second, divided by, in this case, a 10 second interval of time. And so what you should get is five plus five is 10, so 10 meters per second divided by 10 seconds, or an acceleration of a positive one meter per second per second, or meter per second squared. So what you should notice is over this interval where we said the velocity is decreasing, the velocity is going to go from negative five to negative four meters per second, negative four to negative three meters per second. The velocity is decreasing. And one of the things that you should see is down here, this is negative velocity. On this part of the velocity versus time graph, this is represents positive velocity. So down here, notice that you have a positive acceleration. The slope of this line is a positive line positive acceleration and negative velocity is going to indicate that the velocity is going to decrease. And in this case, we already stated that. And then what happens is after you hit five seconds, after you reach zero meters per second, the velocity actually changes. The velocity begins to go from zero to one meter per second, one meter per second to two meters per second. The acceleration and the velocity now have the same sign, so the velocity is going to increase. 